Okay, so my class is about to start, so I'm going to run the code. And you can see I'm not touching anything. It's automatically logging me in and doing everything, which is sick. Hey, it's me. Don't worry about it. You experience. But I think Tarun is here now. You hear Tarun? You hear Tarun? You hear Tarun? We still have to wake up super early for online school yeah. at like 9 a.m. But still, that's a slight problem when I go to sleep at 5, all right? What is it? Four hours of sleep? That is not enough time to get the mental juices in my head to turn on, okay? It's not enough time. But regardless, I wake up at 9 a.m. and I'm like, wow, it's going to be such an amazing day. And then I realized that I didn't just peacefully die when I was sleeping. And I have to endure the pains of online school. So now I wake up, I'm all depressed, and I go back to sleep. And then I miss my first block class. And that's not good. But you see, this is a serious problem. I have literally missed half of my online classes, all right? And now my teachers are like, wow, Tarun isn't here. Wow, didn't see that one coming. My teachers are making fun of me, all right? I cannot miss more class. Okay, I guess there's only one more solution left. Say it with me, nuking my school. Is this the desperate section of the video where I beg my viewers to like and subscribe? Yes. Okay, let's make this interesting. If we get 500 likes and 500 subscribers, then I will take $500 and throw it into Dogecoin and I will let it ride to the moon. And the best part is, it is literally free for you to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, time to nuke school. Okay, so my school uses something called Google Meets for all of their online classes, which is just a Zoom knockoff but with less features. So now we have to make a robot that can open up and control our Google Meets for us so I don't have to be there, so I can go and sleep. You know, making this Google Meet bot should be pretty easy. Barely an inconvenience, to be honest. And you know what? I will show you guys step by step how to make the bot. So easy. First, install Python, Selenium, PyOptic GUI, Daytime, and all the latest Chrome drivers. Import everything, configure Selenium settings, tell Selenium to use Chrome instead of stupid flippin' Internet Explorer. Now I realize that some of you guys are tech illiterates and don't know what Selenium is. It's okay, you can't be as good as me, it's fine. But Selenium is a slave, the bot that we use to actually control the Google Meets. So we tell Selenium, hey, click on this, click on that and click on this, right? And Selenium will execute those commands perfectly. Okay, now we make Selenium open up the browser and navigate to the Google Meets login page. Now we have to get the X path of the email box. This tells Selenium where exactly to type or to click. Then we do the same thing with the password and now Selenium can type the username and type the password and log in. Okay, so this computer right here, it's actually not my computer. It's a computer in the cloud. And you can see how I'm remote desktoping into this computer. So all the code I just wrote, it is in this death.py file because Google is death. This is a flawless naming scheme, all right? So if I run this code, the idea is, is that Selenium will open up the Chrome browser and log me in. So I'm going to quickly run the code and hopefully it works. And you can see I'm not touching anything. It's awesome. It's logging me in. Uh, huh? Excuse me? What? Do you think I'm a robot? Do you think I'm a robot? Do I look like a robot? I am a trustworthy guy doing trustworthy normal stuff. Okay, so I bypassed the verification and I'm pretty sure it's illegal. But you know what? It's okay. We can't have laws, you know, preventing us from revolutionizing online education, can we? Then the code looks at what time it is and what class we're supposed to be in and it opens up that class's Google Meets link. Next, we again get the X path of the mute and turn camera off button, and we click on both of those. And lastly, we get Selenium to click on the join now button. Okay, so my class is about to start, so I'm going to run the code. And you can see I'm not touching anything. It's automatically logging me in and doing everything, which is sick. Hey, it's me. Don't worry about it. You experience. But I think Tarun is here now. You hear Tarun? You hear Tarun? You hear Tarun? Okay, okay, so slight like problems. But we need Selenium to understand what my teacher is saying and then detect if my teacher called my name. But the tricky part is actually understanding what my teacher is saying. And I can use something fancy called a natural language processing. And that allows Selenium to actually listen to what my teacher is saying and then transcribe text from my teacher's audio. Do I know what that means? 
No, I do not. I just read the Wikipedia page five minutes ago. I am not an expert in this. And it should take me around five to six hours to set everything up, which honestly seems like a pain. The opportunity to defeat your enemy is provided by the enemy himself, Sun Tzu, the art of war. Okay, I am so stupid. Instead of me coding out the machine learning or natural language processing stuff, I can just copy Google stuff. Google already did all the tricky work. All I have to do is click on turn captions and Google will caption everything my teacher says. And then Selenium can just read the captions and see if my name is in the captions. And if my name is called, then Selenium can click on the chat box and say, I'm not here or I'm having Wi-Fi problems. Such an easy and big brain solution Okay, you must be wondering what the heck is going on. Why am I in a dungeon with myself, all right? Are we in hell? Well, four me's in a room is straight up hell, all right? But no, I was trying to record my Google Meets browser, but my screen recorder was like, no, I refuse to work today. So now I'm forced to use this janky contraption to do my screen recording. But basically, we are here to test how good Google's captioning service is. And Google is able to get most of my words correct, which is awesome. So now I'm going to say my name a few times, just like if a teacher is calling my name in attendance, and we're going to see how good Google is at identifying my name. Hey Tarun. Hey Tarun. Hey Tarun. Hey Tarun. Hey Tarun. Who are these people? Who is Tyrone? Who is Karen? Okay, I guess I am a tyrant, so I guess that's correct. But my name, it's not getting my name correct. Hi. Hey, Brian. Why can't I have a white person name? It would be so easy. So now I have to make a thing which can fix and work. Okay, so I have like a zero IQ solution to this problem. But basically, I'm going to have a list of names that sound like mine. So if my teacher says the word tyrant, Perun, tyrant, or something similar to that, the bot would just proceed like normal and open up chat and say, hey, I'm not here, or I'm having Wi-Fi problems, all right? And a few of you big brain people might be like, what about false positives? What if my teacher says tyrant and the bot thinks that's me? What happens? Well, aren't you guys smart? And I have a really big brain solution to fix that. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend this problem doesn't exist and move on with my life. And I'm going to code everything out right now. Okay, so we're going to test out the captioning feature and see if Selenium can access the captions for us. I'm going to run the code. Again, everything is automated. I am not touching anything. This is so cool. Hey, it's me. Okay, so you can see how the teacher is saying something right there. And the bot is able to perfectly read that up. So the bot is able to identify what the teacher is saying. So now all the bot will do is check if my name is in the transcript. And if my name is in the transcript, it will open up chat and say I'm having Wi-Fi problems. This is so awesome. <laughs> now that we actually robbed the bank, now that we are in the Google Meets, we need to find an escape plan. We need to find a way to subtly leave the Google Meets without our teacher noticing, all right? By the way, speaking about robbing banks, do you know that there have been more criminals caught during COVID than in any time in human history? And scientists were wondering why, and scientists realized that criminals just refuse to wear masks. Get it like masks, like, you know, COVID masks? Come, come on, you have to subscribe for that at least. Please. Now, I had a team of crackhead scientists do the math right here, and we determined that if we leave the Google Meets in the first five minutes, then there's a chance the teacher hasn't done attendance yet, and we can be marked absent. So we can't leave in the first five minutes. But then, okay, my team of crackhead scientists determined that when our teacher starts presenting, they're not looking at the Google Meets anymore. So when they start presenting after exactly 69 seconds, that's like the sweet spot. You can leave the Google Meets and the teacher just won't know that you left. It is such a stupid, but honestly big brain solution. So I'm gonna quickly code it out.
Okay, so I added in a few more things. First, if my teacher doesn't open the Google Meet on time, the bot will just keep trying to open the Meet until it's available. That's the first thing. Second, let's say everyone leaves the Google Meets, right, and the participant number goes down. The bot has to leave with everyone else. So the bot will check how many people are currently in the meeting, and if there are less than five people in the meeting, the bot will just leave with all those people. Yeah. So I'm gonna code them both out right now. Okay, so I'm going to run my code right here, and you can see how it's logging me in. And again, everything here is automatic. I'm not touching anything. It is logging me in. It is doing everything all by itself. Hey, it's me again. So right now, it muted, and now it's actually joining the meet. So you can see how it automatically turned on the captions, and now we can see the captions. And because the captions are turned on, Selenium can now read those captions. And you can see how Selenium is reading the captions and checking if my name is in the captions. few things right here. Notice how Google Captions thought my teacher said Tyrone, but it still worked because we're checking from a list of similar names. So the bot automatically opened up chat and typed and said I'm having Wi-Fi problems. You have Wi-Fi problems, I got you, right? Yeah, so the bot works straight up perfectly. I've been using it for the past two weeks and none of my teachers have even suspected anything. Yeah, so a few of you haters out there might be like, wow, it took you two weeks to build this project. It would have just been easier to wake up on time and go to class. Screw you, all right? Computer scientists in my DNA, and computer scientists, we create the most advanced and overcomplicated solutions to the most easiest problems. Okay, so my next video is going to be another innovation where I create a solution to a problem that literally no one has ever had. It involves Desmos and Rickrolling people. So if you're interested in seeing any more stupid, silly robot AI stuff, right? Subscribe to this channel. Again, if you get 500 likes and 500 subscribers, I will throw $500 into Dogecoin. So if you haven't liked or subscribed already, what are you doing? Just hit those buttons. It is free, all right? If you want more videos, get over here. Just watch something. I don't know. Give me more watch time, all right? I need your eyeballs. I need to harvest your eyeballs. Goodbye.